Robinia pseudo acacia, commonly known as the black locust, is a tree of the genus Robinia in the subfamily Fabboidae of the P family Fabaceae. It is native to the southeastern United States, but has been widely planted and naturalized elsewhere in temperate North America, Europe, southern Africa, and Asia and is considered an invasive species in some areas. A less frequently used common name is false acacia, which is a literal translation of the specific epithet. It was introduced into Britain in 1636. Description With a trunk up to 0.8 m diameter, with thick, deeply furrowed blackish bark. The leaves are 10 a euro 25 a cm long, pinnate with 9 a euro 19 oval leaflets, 2 a euro 5 a cm long and 1.5 a euro 3 a cm broad. Each leaf usually has a pair of short spines at the base, one a euro two um long or absent on adult crown shoots, up to two a cm long on vigorous young plants. The intensely fragrant flowers are white to lavender or purple, born in pendulous racemes eight a euro twenty a cm long, and are edible. The fruit is a legume five a euro ten a cm long, containing four a euro ten seeds. Although similar in general appearance to the honey locust, it lacks the tray euro unregistered trademark s characteristic long branched thorns on the trunk, instead having the pairs of short spines at the base of each leaf. The leaflets are also much broader. The black locust is native in the United States from Pennsylvania to northern Georgia and westward as far as Arkansas and Oklahoma, but has been widely spread. The tree reaches a height of 70 feet with a trunk three or four feet in diameter and brittle branches that form an oblong narrow head. It spreads by underground shoots. The leaflets fold together in wet weather and at night. Some change of position at night is a habit of the entire leguminous family. Bark, dark grey-brown tinged with red, deeply furrowed, surface inclined to scale. Branchlets at first coated with white silvery down. This soon disappears and they become pale green afterward reddish-brown. Prickles develop from stipules, are short, somewhat triangular, dilated at base, sharp, dark purple, adhering only to the bark, but persistent. Wood, pale yellowish-brown. Heavy, hard, strong, close-grained and very durable in contact with the ground. The wood has a specific gravity 0.7333 and a weight of approximately 45.7 pounds per cubic foot. Winter buds, minute, naked, three or four together, protected in a depression by a scale-like covering lined on the inner surface with a thick coat of tomentum and opening in early spring. When forming are covered by the swollen base of the petial. Leaves, parallel, compound, odd pinnate, 21-40 inches long, with slender hairy petials, grooved and swollen at the base. Leaflets petiolate, 7 to 9, 1 to 2 inches long, 1 half to 3 fourths of an inch broad, emarginate or rounded at apex. They come out of the bud can duplicate, yellow-green, covered with silvery down which soon disappears. When full-grown a dull dark green above, paler beneath. Feather-veined, mid-vein prominent. In autumn they turn a clear pale yellow. Leafs out relatively late in spring. Stipules linear, downy, membranous at first, ultimately developing into hard woody prickles, straight or slightly curved. Each leaflet has a minute style which quickly falls and a short petial. Flowers, May or June, after the leaves. Papillinaceous. Perfect, born in loose drooping racemes 4 to 5 inches long, cream white, about an inch long, nectar bearing, fragrant. Pedicel slender half an inch long, dark red or reddish green. Calyx, campanulate, gibbous, hairy, five-toothed, slightly two-lipped, dark green blotched with red, especially on the upper side teeth valvate in bud. Corolla, imperfectly papillinaceous, petals inserted upon a tubular disc. Standard white with pale yellow blotch. Wings white, oblong falcate. Keel petals incurved, obtuse. United below. Stamens, 10, inserted, with the petals, diadelphus, 9 inferior, united into a tube which is cleft on the upper side, superior one free at the base. Anthers two-celled, cells opening longitudinally. Pistil, 
ovary superior, linear oblong, stipitate, one-celled. Stalin flexed, long, slender, bearded. Stigma capitate. Ovules several, two ranked. Fruit, legume two valved, smooth three to four inches long and half an inch broad, usually four to eight seeded. Ripens late in autumn and hangs on the branches until early spring. Seeds dark orange brown with irregular markings. Cotyledons oval, fleshy. Cultivation. Black locust is a major honey plant in the eastern U.S., and, having been taken and planted in France, Italy and other European nations. At least in France and Italy it is the source of the renowned acacia monofloral honey. Flowering starts after 140 growing degree days. However, its blooming period is short and it does not consistently produce a honey crop year after year. Weather conditions can have quite an effect on the amount of nectar collected as well. In Ohio State for example, good locust honey flow happens in one out of five years. In Europe it is often planted alongside streets and in parks, especially in large cities, because it tolerates pollution well. The species is unsuitable for small gardens due to its large size and rapid growth, but the cultivar Euro Frisia Euro unregistered trademark a selection with bright yellow-green leaves, is occasionally planted as an ornamental tree. In South Africa it is regarded as a weed because of its habit of freely suckering from roots near the surface and aggravated by cutting of the main stem. Black locust has nitrogen-fixing bacteria on its root system. For this reason it can grow on poor soils and is an early colonizer of disturbed areas. In 1900 it was reported that the value of Robinia pseudo acacia was practically destroyed in nearly all parts of the United States beyond the mountain forests which are its home by locust borers which riddle the trunk and branches. Were it not for these insects, it would be one of the most valuable timber trees that could be planted in the northern and middle states. Young trees grow quickly and vigorously for a number of years, but soon become stunted and diseased and rarely live long enough to attain any commercial value. Flavonoids content, black locust leaves contain flavor and glycosides characterized by spectroscopic and chemical methods as the 7OI squared d glucuronapuranosyl, 1 or 2, I plus or minus L ramnopuranosyl, 1 or 6, I squared d glucopyranosides of acacetin, apigenin, diosmetin and luteolin. Uses. The wood is extremely hard, resistant to rot and durable, making it prized for furniture, flooring, paneling, fence posts and small watercraft. Wet, newly cut planks have an offensive odor which disappears with seasoning. As a young man, Abraham Lincoln spent much of his time splitting rails and fence posts from black locust logs. Black locust is still in use in rustic handrail systems. Flavonoids in the heart would allow the wood to last over 100 years in soil. In the Netherlands and some other parts of Europe, black locust is one of the most rot-resistant local trees, and projects have started to limit the use of tropical wood by promoting this tree and creating plantations. It is one of the heaviest and hardest woods in North America. Black locust is highly valued as firewood for wood-burning stoves. It burns slowly, with little visible flame or smoke and has a higher heat content than any other species that grows widely in the eastern United States, comparable to the heat content of anthracite. It is most easily ignited by insertion into a hot stove with an established coal bed. For best results it should be seasoned like any other hardwood, however black locust is also popular because of its ability to burn even when wet. In fireplaces it can be less satisfactory because knots and beetle damage make the wood prone a euro os bitting euro calls for distances of up to several feet. If the black locust is cut, split, and cured while relatively young, thus minimizing beetle damage, a euro os bitting euro problems are minimal. It is also planted for firewood because it grows rapidly, is highly resilient in a variety of soils and it grows back even faster from its stump after harvest by using the existing root system. With fertilizer prices rising, the importance of black locust as a nitrogen-fixing species is also noteworthy. The mass application of fertilizers in agriculture and forestry is increasingly expensive. Therefore nitrogen-fixing tree and shrub species are gaining importance in managed forestry.
In traditional medicine of India different parts of Robinia pseudo acacia are used as laxative, antispasmodic, and diuretic. Toxicity, black locusta euro unregistered trademark S pods are small and light, and easily carried long distances. Although the bark and leaves are toxic, various reports suggest that the seeds and the young pods of the black locust are edible. Shelled seeds are safe to harvest from summer through fall, and are edible both raw and or boiled. Due to the small nature of black locust seeds, shelling them efficiently can prove tedious and difficult. In France and in Italy Robinia pseudo acacia flowers are eaten as beignets after being coated in batter and fried in oil. Important constituents of the plant are the toxalbumin robin, which loses its toxicity when heated and robinin, a non-toxic glucoside. Horses that consume the plant show signs of anorexia, depression, incontinence, colic, weakness, and cardiac arrhythmia. Symptoms usually occur about one hour following consumption, and immediate veterinary attention is required. History The name locust is said to have been given to Robinia by Jesuit missionaries, who fancied that this was the tree that supported St. John in the wilderness, but it is native only to North America. The locust tree of Spain, which is also native to Syria and the entire Mediterranean basin, is supposed to be the true locust of the New Testament. Robinia is now a North American genus, but traces of it are found in the Eocene and Miocene rocks of Europe. See also, List of plants poisonous to equines, Megacillin robingi rao, external links, Purdue University, Robinia pseudoacacia images at bioimages.vanderbilt.edu. Robinia pseudoacacia images at forestry images, Robinia pseudoacacia, U.S. Forest Service Fire Effects Database, Robinia pseudoacacia at USDA Plants Database, Black Locust, U.S. Forest Service Silvix Manual, Black Locust, Robinia pseudoacacia frisia, Interactive Distribution Map of Robinia pseudoacacia, Robinia pseudoacacia flowers as food, Black Locust, Invasive Species, Minnesota DNR, References